What's up everyone? I'm Elsa, my pronouns are she and her, and today we have a strengthening series for you. Um, you will need a couple things. So we are going to be using something to sit on. So I'm using an ottoman. You can also use a couch, a chair, anything that gets you into like a squat position, whatever that means to you, can be parallel to the ground um, if that like into a parallel position if that isn't doable for you totally fine you can do something that is like squat height for you perfect um, we will also be doing an elevated plank on a counter or a wall so whichever feels best for you you can pick um, and we will need something such as a t-shirt, a towel, a pillowcase, anything that's like hand towel size, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, so that is what we are going to be using today. Um, we are gonna get started here. It is about a 20 minute series or so, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. Um, and you are welcome to start, at, since it is a circuit, you are welcome to start after like the first repetition of the circuit or you are Welcome to see going until the end of the video. Totally up to you. Do whatever feels good for you. Feel free to vary the exercises in a way that feels good for you. Um, if some things feel too challenging or too simple, feel free to change them up. I am not in your body, you are in your body. You can gauge that a little bit better. What feels good for me is going to be probably different than what feels good for you, right? So here is our template. If the repetitions don't feel right, you can do more or less. Do what feels right for you, yeah? Let's get started. So our first exercise is a hinge. Um, this is going to be a good morning. Um, we are just doing it with our body weight. We're not adding like a barbell or a resistance band to it. Um, for a good morning, it is a hinge exercise. So what that means is you aren't necessarily bending your legs. You are hinging forward at the hips. Um, it's a hip hinge. So for the good morning, um, we are gonna start with our hands behind our head you're not like pulling on your head it is just there to like get you in this position um, don't put like tension on your neck or in your head or on your head or anything like that so my hands are interlaced behind my head my feet are about hip width apart and all I'm gonna do is send legs are unlocked send my booty back looking forward trying not to round my spine and standing up you'll feel like a big stretch run down the back of your legs so hinging forward standing up. If that isn't quite making sense, which is totally fine, hinges can take a while to get. Um, you, it's like pretending your butt is pushing a button. That's the way I think of it. You're gonna do 10 reps of these, by the way. Um, so you can stand like a foot or so, a few inches or so in front of the wall. <sighs> Same thing, hands behind the head, sending your booty back until it taps that wall and coming back. So you're just going until you push that button and then you're standing back up. You can obviously adjust the spacing if it feels like you're hitting it right away before you feel a stretch in your legs. So just like that and standing back up. Feeling that stretch, standing up. We're doing 10 of these and then we'll move on to the next exercise, yeah? Going at whatever pace good, feels good for you. Try not to rush the movement. Once we've done 10 of those, we are gonna do a box squat or squat to a box. So we are going to pick the surface of our choosing. For me, it's this ottoman. And you're gonna act like you're gonna sit down on the ottoman, right? But you're gonna lower yourself very slowly like you're doing a squat. Lowering yourself to meet it. You're not just dropping to the surface, sitting back all the way, letting your weight be in this object. Standing up, you are driving through your feet and standing up. 
You're not swinging up using momentum. You're just lowering and standing up. We're doing 10 of these. If the surface feels too easy, pick something a little bit lower. Trying again, keeping that back flat on your way down, nice and controlled, standing up, pressing through your feet. Lowering. If you don't have a lower surface, you could always put like an exercise mat under your feet or something stable to elevate your feet a tiny bit, like a couple of inches. Nice and slow. And then standing up, pressing through the feet. Lowering nice and slow. Like I lost a little bit of control on that one and you can feel it and that's totally fine. Like it happens. <laughs> and standing up. Lowering nice and slow. Standing up. 10 of these. And again, trying to keep your chest upright as well, as upright as you can. Perfect. Once you've done 10 of those, we are moving on to a standing leg lift. Um, so you are gonna start with I start standing and then picking whichever leg you're gonna lift first. I'm gonna lift my right leg. Unlocking my left leg, right? So there's a slight bend, it's not fully locked out. Hands can be wherever you want, at your hips. I'm just going to lift my right leg a little, lower it back down. Lifting, lowering. Lifting, lowering. Trying to stay as centered as I possibly can. 10 of these, nice and slow and nice and controlled. You are also more than welcome to use a waller, a counter, back of your couch to support you. Ten of these. And you're not kicking out nice fast, you're just you're lifting intentionally and lowering. Once you've done 10 on one side, you're gonna move on to the other side. Again, unlocking that base leg and lifting, whoop, lifting and lowering. Some sides are more challenging than others. And again, you can totally go to the wall for support or have it like as a backup option in case you do lose your balance. And once you have done 10 of those, we are going to do our isometric pull apart. So we're gonna have, take your towel, take your shirt like I have, or anything. You're gonna hold a few inches away from the ends. You want your hands to be like, a little more narrow than like a shoulder width apart, like shoulder width apart. And then you're just gonna grab it. Palms are gonna face down and you're gonna hold your arms straight out ahead of you. I'll tell you when we'll start all together for a time. And you're gonna act like you are ripping the towel apart. So you have to keep the tension on it as if you are ripping it apart, keeping your wrists straight. You're not gonna let them bend up like that. Pulling those shoulders down out of your ears, keeping your body in a nice stacked position. Um, if you just feel yourself like start to leaning back Start to lean forward. Just try to tuck those hips under, squeeze those glutes, engage your core, pulling it in. Um, that can be helpful. So we're gonna start this in 
five, four, three, two, one. It is a 30 second hold. Breathe in, remember, you are ripping this towel apart. Tearing it right down the middle. Keep it going. We're gonna go for five, four, three, two. Pulling those shoulders down when you catch it. One. Let go. Letting it go. Setting this off to the side. And then we are moving on to our next exercise, which is going to be a plank hold um, from an elevated surface, such as a wall or a counter. We're gonna use this, and we are gonna go for 30 seconds. With the plank, it's like you're about to start into a push-up, keeping your wrists still under your elbows, under your shoulders, tucking that tail under, right? Engaging your core, keeping in as straight of the line as you can. The tendency might be to let your hips come up or let them drop down. Just try to correct it into a nice straight line, yeah? We are gonna start this in three, two, and one. You could also do this off of a wall. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing that, let it go. Breathe, that was the circuit. Um, we are gonna repeat it at least one more time together. So feel free to catch your breath, take a sip of water, do whatever you gotta do. And then we are gonna get going for our second round of this together. Our first movement is the good morning. Um, so we are gonna start with that. Starting with your feet about hip width apart, hands coming up behind your head. Pulling those shoulder blades together, unlocking those knees, sending your booty back like you're pressing a button, keeping that back nice and flat, and then standing back up. Just going until you feel that nice big stretch in the back of your legs. And again, if that isn't fully making sense to you or you feel like you want some more guidance, you feel your back starting to round, I would recommend like having a mirror or something to watch yourself do it in, at least to start. You can use the wall and you can hinge forward, stand up. Hinge, stand up just until your booty hits the wall and you can stand back up. 10 of these total, right? It's not about speed. Once we've done Ten of those, we are gonna move on to our box squats. For the box squat, remember we are lowering ourselves slowly and with control, even at the end, sitting back fully, pressing through our feet, standing up, lowering, Pressing through the feet to stand up. Lower. 10 of these.
nice and controlled. Once we do 10 of those, we're moving on to our standing abductions. Um, starting on whichever leg you would like, unlocking that base leg, and then just lifting off to the side, lowering, lifting, lowering, nice and controlled. Again, you can use a wall to support you, 10 of these per side. Remembering to breathe. And then switch into the other side, unlocking the base leg. Okay, once we've done 10 of those, we are gonna do our isometric pull apart. All right, so we have the object we're pretending to rip in half right here. We're gonna pull it apart in three, in two, and in one. Arms come up, ripping it apart. We're acting like it. Wrists are nice and straight. Shoulders are down out of those ears. Come on. Remembering to keep breathing, keeping tension on it. 10 more seconds. For five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. We're good on that one. We do still have our plank. Um, so remember picking a service. If the service you used last time felt too challenging, you are welcome to hold for a little less time, like until you can't hold it, or move to a higher surface if it felt not challenging enough, then you can move to a lower surface or hold for more time or not. Totally up to you. Perfect. So getting into our plank position, wrists are under our elbows, under our shoulders, kicking those feet out into that plank in three, in two, and one. Pulling those shoulders down and out of your ears. Breathing, keeping everything in a nice straight line. You can use a wall for this. You are done. Um, feel free to do some stretching after, repeat the circuit another time. It is totally up to you. It is whatever feels good for you. Um, thank you for joining me. I really am glad that you are here and keep moving in a way that feels good for your body. Thank you, I'll see you next time.